Hello everyone, welcome to Style by Mike Fashion YouTube page, long time no see. So today we are going to learn how to make this design that is seen here. Yeah, so no time, let's go straight into it. So, <clears throat> this, you know, this is where you place your, your fabric before sewing. It's about half an inch, half an inch, so you sew that. This is just like when you're making a belt holder for trouser. That's half an inch. You place the fabric together and then you sew it. Please subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, so... Now, after doing that, you're going to open the inside after that one, just open it up and iron it. It doesn't have to be closed. If you want to have a perfect result for this, open that up, just a seam, and iron it before you turn it inside out. This is me turning it inside out, turning that, uh, that piece of fabric that I've sewn at half an inch. Use a broomstick and turn it from the inside out. And this is what I'm doing here now. After open pressing the inside, then you turn it inside out, which is what I'm doing. After turning that, you go to the table and iron it. Iron this. Use a steam iron to get perfect results. Iron it very well. Please subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. subscribe. Along the length of the the fabric now this is time to to forge the the design so you can see how i started folding this you fold that like so and iron it you turn it to the up, upside you can see this so you now have to follow the next folding will follow this line that is seen See, I had a tough time doing this thing because I didn't have someone to assist me. But you can see what I've done here. That is how you fold the back. So basically, this design is just a repetition. Once you get the first fold and you understand how the pattern goes, it's just repetition all the way through. So if you're very observant, watch closely, watch very closely. And see what I've done here. It's just a uh, repetition. Yeah. So once you get the first fold, you can repeat this same process all the way up. Make sure you have a standby steam iron. That will help you to achieve the required results with less effort. So um, you can see the design is panning out quite well. Yeah, so this is it. Just iron that repetitively all the way up. It's a good steam iron. Press it down to achieve the required results. Now you can see this after folding. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So you can actually fold this as long as you want. To the required length of either your placket or your pocket because this design can be applied on the placket or on the pocket or even on any part of the fabric based on your inspiration based on what kind of inspiration you have you can do it as long as you want so next we're going to move to the table and see how it is applied on the placket or the pocket so right here, i'm just trying to make you understand by opening this thing up and refolding it so that you can follow okay now now we're at the sewing machine to so apply the design on the pocket so for you to actually apply this you need to open the design up you need to open it up because it's already folded and ironed. 
so even if you open it up you will not misplace the design it will be easy for you to refold it back so just open it like so and then you'll be able to find that center line that center line is where your stitch will follow right in between the design so that after you finish sewing that it will look invisible someone that is seen it from afar would think you probably used herming gum or something else to hold it down not knowing that it was actually sewn on the machine so you just open it up that way and after you've done that you open the opposite direction as well open the opposite opposite direction and sew it down sew it down okay but for, for me i i already uh, watched close where the center part of my pocket is so i didn't have to maybe make a sign or draw a line at the middle part of the pocket but i still followed it straight down but if it's going to be hard for you you just use your straight rule and a pencil make a line from the top to the bottom of your pocket right at the middle part right at the middle part of your pocket draw a line there so that you can actually place your zigzag design on it yes place your zigzag design on it so that you can make sure the design is straight and not cornered but for me i didn't draw any line because i use my eye gauge <laughs> eye gauge as per qualified <laughs> designer uh, don't mind me i'm just joking so but to achieve a good result you should just use a line the pencil draw a line straight down and follow it so you just keep opening that design that way open the opposite direction you stitch it down open the other direction stitch it down all the way down as seen it's actually very easy and you will not know it's easy until you try it. When I first saw this design, I thought, wow, this is so fabulous. Will I be able to do this? Will I be able to achieve this? But here we are. I'm actually teaching you how to do this. So try it out. Try it out. It's a nice design. It's actually the latest design for this year, 2023. If you've not done this design for a client, you should. Because they will absolutely love it. Now, this is it stitch continue stitching that down that way now that is the last part of it so now the down end of that uh, design this is what you do either you're going to fold it down the pocket or you stitch it down but in this case we're going to fold it so i'm going to show you the result after folding the pocket and achieving the pocket i will show you the results watch out for it now this is it it's been folded you see the pocket as beautiful as it is so this is the pocket you can actually place this on your placket as well i had already done the design for the placket that's why i just went ahead to do it for the pocket you can see so i believe strongly you've had value in this video so please subscribe to the channel subscribe subscribe thank you for watching